If you are a Porsche sports car owner like the 911, Cayman or Boxster, has this problem ever happened to you? See? Holy fuck! <laughs> this is wrong. Dude. That's wrong. That is fucked. That is wrong. Oh, God, this is yeah. wrong. <laughs> I know, what the hell? Yeah, you're burning oil for a big time. Right, that's exactly what happened. Recently, I noticed that on cold starts, this car will make a ton of white smoke from the exhaust, which really concerned me. However, if I shut down the engine and restart the car, the problem seems to be gone, just like this. See, now it's fine. Now it's normal. Which is definitely weird, so I went on to Google and I read about posts and blogs about how these cars would have white smokes on cold startups and looks like some people are saying oh it's a flat engine so it's gonna happen sometimes you get that white smoke because it's a flat engine and then i took the car onto the road and drove it and it seems all fine and everything feels normal and fine no white smokes nothing you know as soon as i start driving but if i put the car here or somewhere else for a couple hours or even the next morning when i started up the white smoke will come up again and i also watched some youtube videos about porsches having white smoke on startup and they all seem worse than mine like the smoke just keep coming out but mine just happens on cold start and then i came across some articles saying that these porsche caymans like the gen 986 or 987 had a common issue actually pretty frequent issue with the air oil separator but not everybody seems to care because they all feel like, oh, it's just some smokes on startup, it should be fine. However, I disagree because the air oil separator actually plays a very important role in the engine. Basically, what the air oil separator does is exactly what its name suggests. It separates the engine oil so that oil wouldn't go flow or sucked into the intake. However, on my startup, I see the white smoke with the smell of burnt oil which is a very typical syndrome of the air oil separator failure or malfunctioning because some oil got sucked into the intake and got burned and so the smoke came out from the exhaust and this can be very bad and dangerous i don't think you should ignore this issue if your car has similar syndromes because if the aos the air oil separator actually completely fails or malfunctions then the oil can come into the intake and damage and pollute things like the spark plugs and everything and that would be a very expensive fix and if your car seems to have this problem you can test it out by turning the car on and when the car is on you can do this so it creates a suction and see how it's kind of like hard to like see it just sucks back in this there, there shouldn't be a suction in yeah here. yeah wow. so it's the oil separator that's broken yeah so change that I'm pretty much completely certain that my car has an issue with the air oil separator. First, it's got white smoke, excessive white smoke on cold start. Second, no white smoke after that, unless you do another cold start after a few hours or a day or so. Third, there's a strong suction on that uh, oil change oil cap right there, as you could see. I mean, I can also open up the engine cover to see if there's oil in the tube between the air oil separator and the intake. But these were the major signs that this is pretty much an AOS failure. So before things get worse, I decided to replace the air oil separator and see what happens. This part, you can find it online for less than $100 or around $100 and you can do it yourself. There are many videos on YouTube that you can watch how to replace the AOS on this car. But there were also cases where people tried to do it themselves but accidentally broke some tubes or cables which caused more problems. So in order to get a peace of mind, I'm gonna go with going to an auto shop and get it repaired by an actual mechanic. Okay, we're back. So uh, the shop also told me that every signs and symptoms led to the air failed air oil separator. And uh, it took about two days for them to actually repair and uh, uh, replace the parts. So I drove this car back here and then uh, left here for about a day. So it had it completely cool down. So now, we're gonna restart it and um, see if it's in white smoke. As you can see, no smoke. Go 
for it. Okay, no, that's good. That's a good sign. Uh huh. So in terms of the price of uh, uh, repairing such issue, uh, it was about a hundred twenty-five dollars for the parts and three hours of labor which cost uh, $100 each so in total it came out to be $425 it's definitely not a cheap thing the cheapest thing to be repaired so if you are you have the right tools and you are you know pretty good with all the mechanic stuff you can do it yourself get the and save yourself you know a couple hundred dollars but still if you don't feel comfortable repairing things like this yourself uh, spending that much money to get a peace of mind and you know get rid of all the future issues it's definitely worth it so here I have the old part which looks like this and when you open the uh, engine cover the orientation of this thing will look like this as you can see here from this direction so here's a closer look at the part when you open the engine bay if you want to do it yourself uh, the part will actually look like this uh, with that connected to the intake on the left and uh, those three hoses are connected down there which you will have to reach in to get them and the way it's being held in place is that goes into a very shallow hole and there are two screws down here which you will have to uh, get in and that could be pretty difficult if you don't have the right tools or you know space for it and here's where the diaphragm is basically how this work is oil comes in from here as you can see from oil here and then this diaphragm will move back and forward all the time depends on the speed and to separate the oil from getting into the intake hence the name air oil separator and turned out that the issue happened exactly in here i mean this part it's not a complicated part it's just a diaphragm and the diaphragm in my old part has a very small crack and so the oil actually got in during cold starts to go into the intake and that's why it has so much white smoke from cold start so that was today's video i hope it was helpful um, on the internet, on YouTube, you can find many videos about this issue, but more towards the 986 or 996 generation of Boxster and 911s. But what I want to point out is this thing happens, you know, it's, very, it's a common issue uh, with the Porsche cars between 40,000 to 60,000 miles. So if you have a Cayman, Boxster, 911, whatever, that's within that range and you start seeing smoke on cold starts or even worse, when you're driving you just see a white screen smoke screen behind you and you check the oil cap and there was significant suction then that my friend couldn't be a good indicator that the air oil separator has failed and like i said the consequence of this thing fails can be small or big in the worst case scenario too much oil got sucked into the intake and can damage the o2 sensors spark plugs and it just gets really messy and can be more costly to repair so if you suspect that the air oil separator has failed in your Porsche, definitely check it out and uh, replace the part either by yourself or by the shop. I hope you liked today's video. Please give me a like and uh, comment and share with your friends and subscribe to What We Drive for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.